Hey everybody, it's Anna. Time for our Tuesday card in this week's tarot story. We have the Ten of Swords reversed. So if you look at the Ten of Swords upright, it shows a man lying on a beach with ten swords in his back. So it's kind of a grim image. But swords are connected to the mind. They're about ideas and beliefs and paradigms. And the number ten is actually the completion number in the trajectory. So when this card shows up, it's not describing a literal death, but rather the death of the old way of thinking, of being, of expecting things. So it's actually like a releasing of a mindset. So even though it looks pretty grim, in the background you can see there is a sun sunrise coming, telling us a new beginning is starting, and it's happening in your water, which is a connection to our intuitive and emotional wisdom. So there's something about releasing the old mindset and moving into the new beginning and trusting more and more our intuition. But this card is a reversal, and that suggests to me that maybe we are being offered this um, this release in the new beginning, but we're a little reluctant to step all the way into it. And the reason I see it that way is because yesterday we had the High Priestess, which was um, the card, which is sort of our major lesson this week. And the High Priestess is about learning how to trust your intuitive wisdom and also learning how to be still and to trust that in your stillness, you're doing your most important work at times. And I think that's actually a very difficult mindset to, a, to adapt to, because in our world, we are told the harder you work, the more you accomplish. Um, and the truth is, the harder you work, actually, the more often you pull yourself outside your intuitive wisdom and outside the trajectory of your flow of your life. So I think the mindset we're being asked to release here is the idea that working harder is working better, and instead realizing that you do have wisdom within yourself. And if you align yourself with that wisdom, you are automatically aligning yourself with the movement of the universe. And so everything moves much more easily and much more um, full, in a much more fulfilled way. So I feel like that's what this lesson is, um, that we need to go ahead and completely release this and trust ourselves that if we give up working this hard, we're not going to fall apart and not get anything done. Instead, we're going to find the flow the high priestess is pointing us toward and really discover the delicious of of um, living an intuitive life. See you tomorrow for our next card. Bye.